So last week's video, I brought you the job form form builder. You can go check that out here. And in it, I talked about how wonderful a jot form is and how easy it is to build online forms through their online form builder. Well, they've introduced something called jot form cards, and I think you're gonna really like it. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Now, if you're a fan of JotForm and you've been using them for a while and you've signed up to receive some of their notifications, you might already know about JotForm cards. And they've been working on this project for quite a while and they were always uh, tongue in cheek about it, never really describing what it is actually. And they just recently uh, released it. And so we're gonna take a, take a look at what you can do with JotForm cards. Now the premise with job form cards is that uh, they've transformed the way that you submit a form or, or take a form. And with forms, you think of a vertical thing, you know, name, email, telephone number, message, submit. With job form cards, they've made it horizontal. So you have arrows going back and forth and you never have this long thing, it's just going across the page. And I think that's kind of neat. And now the same process uh, that you could use with a job form, regular job form form, you can use with cards. So it connects to PayPal and it connects to MailChimp and all those great things that job form has. It's just more in what they call a more friendly online form kind of way. Whereas you're not thinking, oh, this is endless form I gotta fill out. You're just happily going to, clicking the arrow, going next, 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 which I think is kind of fun. So let's go build our JotForm card. So they're uh, really trying to promote the JotForm cards. I'm inside the dashboard now, and I already have uh, a test JotForm cards here, but uh, I just wanted to show you how you actually get to the cards. You click on Create Form, like we always do with JotForm, and we have the classic form now is what they're calling it. And now they have this card form. So let's click uh, create a form. Now we can use a blank form or use from a template. So I've selected from a template and then I've, uh, I've got this one set up and ready to go for us to take a look at. Now I've put in uh, some of uh, these questions already and let's go over all of the pieces here. So uh, what I showed you in last week's uh, video is the same here. We can add form elements. We have all the pieces here, like we did in the, in the regular form. Uh, we have the form designer over here. So we have our color. And you can see here, it's a lot different for the card. Uh, we can do text button, text button type of situation here. There's no more of the uh, font size and all that type of stuff. There is no uh, formal designer that we had in the regular form uh, system. Uh, we just have these basic elements. And one of the big features is actually in adding in a video which is really cool. You can add a video to the background. I'm gonna stick with the color. And the first thing you wanna do is edit the welcome page because that introduces people to what your form is all about. Now, I just have it very simple. It says, welcome to job form cards. Cards are easier and friendly way to fill out forms. I actually added in that right from their website. And then there's a start button. And we can remove the welcome page if we want, but let's, let's keep it the way it is. And then we go down and we uh, have our first question here in our form. Do you like the new job form cards? Yes or no. And then there's a next button. And then how likely we use the job form cards. And I've set it up as a, a, an emoji type of thing. So you could go down to uh, small, uh, you could go down to unhappy face, a tearful face, and all the way up to a very joyful face, that type of thing. And we can rearrange these any way we want. So we can put that in the front if we want. And then we have the edit thank you page. And again, I'm not redirecting to an external link, but I would highly recommend that. Instead, we just have a, a simple thank you message. Okay, let's get into the settings. So under settings, the important part here is the title. 
because this is what people are going to be linking or clicking on when they see it on your website. So it's going to activate what the it's going to activate the form. So you're going to say maybe uh, click here to fill out this form, something like that. And we're going to have it enabled and then we have more options down here. We can do form op uh, warnings, whether or not we want to have it validation switched on, uh, whether or not we want to have uh, what language it is, or we, we will not have to translations, or if you want to have a person continue the form later, or check for unique submissions, uh, if you want to encrypt your data, and if you want to have a uh, the page title, uh, send post data, if you want to do that and have it show up on a, on a separate page. Uh, so uh, enable capture. So a lot of different options here. And I'm just going to click on show less. And we're going to have our conditions and something we talked about in last week's video about, you know, if, if this, then that. So if this happens, then do this. That's what your conditions are. So you can enable these here. Then we have our emails where you can uh, send it off to myself uh, for the submissions. Um, or you can add in uh, more people if you want, or you can do an autoresponder right back to the person who filled it out as long as they put in their email address. And then we get into the integrations, which there are a ton of, and if you can go down to different ones, most popular document sharing, email, CRMs, payments. So uh, if you're not familiar with JobForm, I highly recommend to go check it out and check out all of the amazing integrations there are. Now let's get into the publish. Now you could share this link directly on social media and you even have share options right here. You could share your form right from a job form. We also have embed features. So let's take a look at the embed features. We'll go over to our blog post. Actually it'd be right on our page and post that in. Click apply, click update. Let's see what this looks like embedded. So here's our form right here, and we can click start, and we can answer our questions right here, just like that. It kind of pops up a little bit off the page. It actually shows a little shadow behind, which is kind of nice. And click yes, click submit, and there's our thank you. So kind of cool. And I think one of the features we could do is uh, dismiss after it fills out, or hide it after if somebody fills out. So we can, t uh, you know, that's something that you can uh, take a look at when you build out your job form card. Let's go back to our build. Now I'm gonna try a pop-up. Actually, let's try it a light box. So if we copy that code, go back to our welcome, edit the page, back in our text box here, remove that script, post in this, and I notice here it says click here to fill out this form. You probably want to have a little bit more uh, better of a call to action here, but for now, since we're just doing a demo, we'll click apply, click update, and click view page. And here it is right here. Click here to fill out this form. If we click that link, here's our little pop-up. Just like that. And we click start, and we fill out our little form. Let's go sad face, click next, and click no and click Submit. There you go. And then there's a little X here that we can uh, shut down the form. I like that a little bit better. And then there are third-party options here that uh, if you're on WordPress.org, which we were, you can go in here and kind of do the same thing, copy that code, and, and uh, you can also have a full screen switched on, which I wouldn't recommend because then that just blocks everything. Or if you are on, uh, if you wanted your Dreamweaver, straight up HTML, here's a blogger option, here's webs. So here's Drupal, all your familiar uh, web hosting or web platforms that you can uh, copy the code and put it in. So there you go, guys, that's JobForm Cards. I think it's a nice change to the static uh, name, rank, and serial number. It kind of brings a lot of fun to filling out forms. Let me know what you think. Post in the comments below. Love to hear your uh, thoughts on these job form cards and if it's something that you're going to implement on your website. If you want to know more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.